Yes, so it is time for another top 10. Um, I've gone through classic video games, stuff around my room, movies that were in my room, um, and now I'm going on to bands that you probably have never heard of. Um, yeah, so these are the bands that I think that not a lot of people have heard of, and yet they still get it. They should get a deserving shot because they are actually pretty decent. Um, here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna say it, and then I'm going to play about 10 seconds, 10 second clip or whatever of one of their songs. Um, yeah, all the way up until number one. So we start off with number 10, which is the band Flyleaf. Um, Flyleaf is interesting. They just came out. Um, actually, there may, maybe some of you guys might have heard them. Um, they were just featured in one of the ads from Target. Uh, they're like eight bucks. Um, they're really new. Um, it's weird because like, you know, the girl actually screams, you know, as far as like a rock band, which is kind of interesting and it actually kind of works out well. So, um, listen to this clip. Yeah, so that's Flyleaf. Um... So then we move down from number 10 to number 9, which is the band 12 Stones. Um, most of you pro probably go, oh, um, in the, um, uh, the Evanescence song, Bring Me to Life. The guy singer in the, in the song, Bring Me to Life, was 12 Stones. Um, the band wasn't really that big. Um, you can find like the first CD for like four bucks and like a bargain thing. And I've never even seen their second CD on sale in most places. Um, but it was actually really good, um, so take a listen to this. Yeah, so that's 12 Stones. Um, yeah, they're rockish, I, I like them, so. Um, we move along to number 7, which is, um, Seventh Day Slumber. This band's interesting. Um, I'd heard them for quite a while, and then I never really picked up anything. And then just the other day, I found one of their CDs for a pretty good price. So I picked it up, and I actually really, really enjoyed it. So uh, this is Seventh Day Slumber. So moving on, uh, number six. Yeah, six. This is a band called Hawk Nelson. For those of you who may have remembered, um, I wore the Hawk Nelson hat in my last uh, video blog, which was the top 10 movies or whatever. Told you guys to Google them. Well, in case you didn't, um, here's a clip from their first CD. Um, they're punk rockish and they're actually kind of cool. Um, so just listen in. So, that is Hawk Nelson. Um, they're interesting. They're, they actually, they, they were thinking of, the way that they thought of their name is they were thinking of a, a cool video game name and they couldn't think of anything, so they decided to make one up. Um, and they said that Hawk Nelson sounded like a good video game character. So, an interesting little bit of tidbit. Um, Alright, move on to number six, which is um, a band called Falling Up. Falling Up is a small band. Um, first time I saw them, they were an opening for another band that's actually on the list as an unknown band, so that's how unknown they were. Uh, they're actually pretty good. Um, I've been to several of their concerts and they rock out pretty good. Um, so this is uh, Falling Up. So, we move along to uh, number five, which is the band Mute Math. Mute Math has been picking up a lot of steam, and they are definitely more becoming, uh, they're definitely becoming a lot more uh, noticed and a lot more noticeable. Um, so, this is Mute Math. Yeah, and that's Mute Math. Um, then we continue on to number four, which is the band Thousand Foot Crutch. Um, their second CD was quite actually close to perfection. I really, really, really enjoyed their second CD, which is called Phenomenon. Um, the song that I'm going to play is the, the title album for their CD. Um, it's, it blends real well. It's, it's great, um, and it's just a great CD. So. Now you move to this 
Yeah, so that's that's the crush. Um, next, we move on to the band Anne Berlin. Anne Berlin has also been picking up a lot of steam, and most of you guys have maybe probably heard them. Um, I know I posted something on a forum once, and somebody's like, "Yeah, I know that band." So uh, you might have heard of them. Um, this is their song. This is the song that actually got me into their music, and pretty much the rest of their CD is amazing as well. So um, here you go. Who's gonna call So that's Anne Berlin. Uh, number two, we moved to a band that um, I saw. It was like they're actually like their first concert ever. Um, they were like the opening band and small band or whatever. Um, they have become a lot larger. I actually think that they're uh, the song that I'm about to play is a theme song on some MTV show. I think. I think. So um, yeah, they definitely got a lot larger since the last time I saw them. But still, they deserve more credit than they've gotten. So this is the afters. Um, in beautiful love. What a beautiful smile can stay for a while on this beautiful night. So that's the afters. And then the last band that we come to is a band that I've been listening to for quite a while. Um, I saw them also as an opening band um, for another much larger band now. Um, but they've really just kind of come into their own. They just made their third CD. It's a great CD. Um, yeah, if you can find their CD on a good price, uh, go ahead and pick it up. This band is called Sanctus Real. And there you go. There's my top ten songs. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, maybe if you like some music, maybe you can go check them out. Uh, they're actually really good. So, um, yeah, just that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again on my next top 10.